meat is still gimped up. Oh boy. I thought it was just his arm that was messed up, not his leg. Can't I just hold it? No, you lied to me, Clem. Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. I agree. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. <laughs> no, they're probably all going to be gone. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. That's what I was gonna what say, kind but... of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Seems pretty convenient that happens right when we're here. Someone's up yeah. there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? Hmm... Was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Yep. Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? The common. It tolls for thee. So what's the point of that? Is that our welcoming party? Everybody, run! Oh, shit. Oh, me is gonna go down. I can, I can feel it. Oh, no. Kitty! Little too close. Don't you think? I agree. Oh, no, shit. Man, help her! Oh, God that damn motherfucker! How are you gonna leave Clem like that? What the fuck? No! How many times did I shoot him? Oh, thank you, Chuck. I'll pay it up with you. You the man, Chuck. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead. That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? No! Ah! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. No, no, we gotta get the truck. There's no time. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Let's go. You're not gonna be fine. Can't believe we fucking left them. I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Mm -hmm. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work Better faster, work. would you? <laughs> Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. 
Just get us inside. I don't care how you do it. Maybe you should come up with some ideas then. God damn it, Kenny. I got a wrench. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Well, Are they going to find kid? us? Uh... Yeah, I think maybe they did. I think so too. I'm standing guard in case they show up. You don't need to do that. We're gonna be safe inside real soon. Until then, just just stay close to me, okay? Okay. Jess, hello. What game is it saying? Still saying graveyard keeper. Oh yeah, shit. Sorry. But either way, hello. How are you? Alright, should be updated. I'll be playing graveyard keeper later if that how's he look? That's any value. I'm alright. You're not alright. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. Chris is right. Looks pretty bad. You're as bad as she is. I'm telling you, it's just a ah, oh, Jesus! Quit trying to be a tough guy, old me. Hell, I'd be crying like a baby my leg looked like that. Please, we have to get him inside. Don't worry. We're going to. I'm on it. Will we be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out Do here. Do we know if that lady is pregnant yet? I don't know. Just, just give me a spoiler, Jess. Looks like something was buried here. Just a doghouse. Beat you up if you did. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. The shovel is never not useful. Yeah, tell that to Chuck. Where is he? How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. I'm not even sure if you have any feelings. feelings. Jesus. Ah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Yeah. No, you you what there. happened back there on the street? I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Now what's a little upset. girl? Jesus. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Why would he want to talk about his wife and his son out. being murdered? All right. Uh, well, his son being murdered by me. No way I'm going to be able to bust through that. No way I'm going to be able to bust through that. No way. Oh. Are we gonna really uh, uh, unbury the the family pet? I don't think I want to start digging up God knows what until we find a way into that house first. Why would you want to dig up anything? It's messed up, man. All right. Well, not sure where to go. What to do? Hello? Anybody home? Oh, right there. 
Oh, we're gonna send Clem through that hole. That. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? <laughs> I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. Hmm? All right, so time to go. Where's the dog? <laughs> time to go dig up the family pet. Which is probably gonna turn into a zombie need. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Why Clem, why are you coming over here? You don't need to see more dead shit, alright? Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You I can smell it from here. Gross! Clementine, honey, come sit with me and Omid. Let Lee work. Oh, God, the smell. If this thing snaps at me, I'm going to lose my shit. Oh, I can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Wait, you're just gonna leave the shovel back there? Yes! God damn! Well, what good does that do? You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Alright, Clem, better work you your magic. Do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. No good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. I hate when she does that. Clem, what do you see in there? Mm -hmm. Ta da! Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. And you did good. And you did good. You just had me mm -hmm. worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? See, I'm essentially Lee. My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Starting to even talk like him. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Well, if this is holed up so good, maybe there's some good supplies in here. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. What a nice looking family. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. 
least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. That's true. Last thing uh, we need. We need to make sure just lose okay. any more people. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find you. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not going to wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. You don't even know if they're there in the first place. They could be all gone anyway. Bud. The place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> all right, fine. You and me I like take her, the so upstairs. she's smart. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, I got it. Hang out with Chris to know me until I get back, okay? Give her something Lee, to do. I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. <laughs> Man, she's the best. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Not sure why we need to check that. All cleaned out. My dog Walter. You know, it was a cute little dog. I'll give him that. Ugh. We eat the dog food? Has it really come to that? I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. <laughs> All right, we'll let them check upstairs. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. I got attacked by a zombie bur a zombie broom. I don't know why I want to call it a baroom. A baroomba. All right, let's see. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Oh, how adorable. That dog looked a lot bigger than that photo. Not exactly my style. Let's just check this. Screw it. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, just some dog food. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. 
I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Mm -hmm. Clementine, oh. honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Oh, shit, what's going on now? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? Why did you just go I with can't him? get him to come down. Stay here. Are you trying to suggest that something happened to him? Or that he just fucking went off the rails? Seems like anything to do. Kenny? You find some toys or something? Kenny. You okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Too soon. Too friggin' soon. Oh. Kind of looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I Where the fuck was him? Where his parents? Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Before it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know. I just... Oh, God. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Oh, that's very true. Uh, Kenny has to do this. All that day. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. Just ran out of food, like we almost did. Like we still might. What a way to live. What a way to die. Well, I want to know what happened to his parents. That like he's just left up this here alone. Get clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. I know that you can. I couldn't even help my own boy. That was your own flesh and blood. No father could have done that. But you can help this boy. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. We can't have Kenny running into this problem later on. Especially if we're being chased by a horde of zombies. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. That's a good idea. Maybe that'll help Kenny have a little bit of closure.
You know, I was already thinking that. We're gonna go bury him with his dog. I wonder how everyone else is gonna take it. Cause in my mind, I'm like, oh, that's kind of a sweet gesture. He probably loved that dog. But then everyone else is gonna freak out. Why would you bury him with his dog? You're fucking sick. Wait, what? <laughs> More two to just don't you don't you say anything. just always watching if she's not a full-on psychopath later on in the next games I'm gonna I'm gonna be surprised Someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, mm, no. Too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. I figured that ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if we'll We're not ready yet. Move yet. Well, he better get ready because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you wanna? I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more- I said I'm done with this house! Kenny, if you're going to do that, man, you're going to have to go on your own. We can do both. Then, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? I don't like the idea okay. of splitting us all hey, up. Hey, light's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. We still need to find Chuck, too. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Dude, you're looking for supplies. 
No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? Yeah. Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Stop fucking up, Ben, and then maybe we can talk. Be a contributing member of this group. I love how I'm trying to be all stealthy and case just like, oh, let's go for a Sunday stroll. Who gives a fuck? Do you want coffee, Jess? The answer is always yes. Go get yourself an iced coffee. That sounds really good right now. Keep your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah. Sure. Uh oh. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? What in tarnation? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> Good Jesus, Ken. <laughs> hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're. Oh uh, no! What's this? Oh my god! Mm, boats are all gone. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Oh yeah, there's one. It's beached. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. All right, great. So you find a boat. Where are you going to go then? This one might still be salvageable. Kenny, get a grip. This boat is totally fucked. Oh, yeah? Know a lot about boats, do you? Tell you what. I know it's not normal for her to be sitting in the water like that. History, I'll be sure to ask. But how about you leave the nautical shit to me? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. Yeah, but see what you, you can find. Do you have a quarter, okay. Kenny? That shit ain't free. Yeah, okay, let's talk to Kenny first. I'll just have a look around, okay? Uh huh. You don't give a fuck. Wait, is that a concrete pillar sticking through the center of that? Yeah, that boat's fucked. Damn shame. Not exactly a welcome banner. Am 
must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Here's our cash register. Plan to come back and get it's that no quarter. Not much use these days. Just take a coin for the telescope, bro. I know what's gonna happen. An abandoned newsstand. markings they're all over the place it's not good that's all gonna be problematic later could be military tags, but what do they mean? Oh, all right here. Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? Or do something like this. Hmm, he looks cute. Oh, no fucking way we're going to be shooting them. You kidding me? No waste our ammo on them. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. Great. Needs a quarter to work. What did I tell you? What? What did I tell you, Lee? Like you've never experienced life before. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Fuck. It would have been too easy. And Kenny has a quarter. We're gonna check the zombies. Go back and ask Ken if he has a quarter. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Truck ashtray. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Locked. Smash that shit open. Bingo. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line. Well, someone stripped out the battery. What? You can't fix it. No. Who would have thought the boat was fucked? What the, what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. It's a modern art. Docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. What the hell? Oh, shit. Who the fuck is that? Spider Man? Get down. Get down.
He's looking for some new uh Why the hell are we hiding? Pooping material. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to talk. Kenny, don't do anything stupid. What's for sale today, sir? What are you gonna do? Hit him with your fucking wrench? Oh, she got me. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to talk to you. <gasps> Flora Croft, she's gonna ice pick me. Oh, the fuck is she doing here? You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. <laughs> Kenny, 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 Kenny. No, 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 no. Kenny, don't. Yeah, serves you right. No, he's with us. I guess we gotta go now. Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. <laughs> the name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. Why are you here, Clementine? You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened to you? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because we didn't shoot around sight? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it <laughs> straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What if 
exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. They're the deterrent. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Oh, we're gonna well, have gonna a ask you talk again. later, Clem. You're not from Crawford, sure. so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Oh, fuck. Great. Time to run. We're always just running. Isn't that the... Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... <laughs> oh, damn. You just gonna let her go? Hey, you can't just leave us here. Really? Watch. No, please. Please don't leave us. Come on. Just kick down the ladder. Come on, make it fast. They're not kidnapping my little girl. Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. Steve, come on. Come on, man. One good jump. Don't let me down, Kenny. God damn it. No. This is the second time you've done this to me. Follow me down there. Oh no. Let's trade one shitty situation for another. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Shit. This is not going to be good. Feel solid. Further down we go. Yeah, what's up, man? Mr. Trickster. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease.
I'm surprised all the rats are dead down here though. It's a drainage pipe. They should be able to live forever. Oh no, look at them all. Better crouch. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. Well, let's turn it, I guess, see what happens. Won't turn anymore. Good or bad, I don't know. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm, seems loose. Shit. Yeah. Oh, this is back at the beginning, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, if I turn this thing left. Oops. It's a drainage pipe. Yeah, Lee, we got that. Thank you, bro. So that's gonna draw them all back. Am I gonna need? Well, I don't need that valve anymore. Worst case scenario, we still do have our gun. One more to do at the end. Oh, no, Chuck. Chuck. Tried to hide out down here. God damn it. Can bullets. we play a single Just episode see. without That's losing bastard. someone? You deserve better, old man. It's not possible. Every episode, I think we've lost someone, haven't we? Oh my god. Kind of scared the shit out of me. Go, god damn it! Oh. Oh, there's one. Just book it. I say no dumping. This drain is clean. <coughs> Excuse me. Seems like someone 
would fix it that way. Like, hey, there's a giant hole there. Let's just put a sign over it. Who wants to do actual work? Oh, look at all the supplies. Wonder if someone's living down here. enough to keep people alive for months or me three days uh howdy <laughs> it's all right it's okay I, I don't want any trouble neither do we which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. I can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them. And I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep don't you back, shoot me. Or I swear I'll you better shoot. not. I told you he's lying. He I is one wanna, of them. I don't Kill him before the... he kills us. Oh, I should have grabbed the gun. <laughs> okay, okay. Do over. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. Mm -hmm. I am. No. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so Vernon. casual. We're not gonna do anything. Relax. Just settle down. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford. No, I'm really not. Well, uh, just look at my my radio. Are, I got flowers on it. We got out of there when they started <laughs> sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old, so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. 
Now I just want to get out of here. Yeah, we kind of screwed them because we opened up their bedroom well, slash supply room, you supply room to those zombies. The city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. <clears throat> Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? What's up, Worm? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. I forgot what this guy's name was. Old dude. That we're probably gonna get killed again. <sighs> you know, every time we have an opportunity to build our group up, build our numbers up, something terrible happens. <laughs> 